the FSU helmet rides again. Yeah, you saw in our last video we had to take it off because the bungee broke. I don't think this one's gonna break. You can see we got wire and then we got it fastened down. And then on this side we have wire and we have it fastened down. And here's the thing, if you look in the middle, you don't see a wire going across. That's because we have it independently wired on each side. So in order for it to fall off, both sides would have to break. So I don't think both sides are gonna break at once. If one side does break, there'll be an obvious wiggle jiggle going on with the helmet. That'll indicate, hey, you need to go out there and pay some attention to that. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that jet flying overhead. We live about 15 miles from the Daggum Airport. You wouldn't think that would be so many jets, but they are. Anyway, uh, independently wired both sides, so she should be good if anything happens. Uh, I got some repair stuff with me. We'll get it fixed on the road if we have to. But uh, yeah, we got it back on there, ready to go. All right. I don't know about this place. <laughs> a lot of mud, a lot of mud. If you look back over there, a lot of mud. Yep, a lot of mud. Oh, yeah. More mud. More mud. All the way back. Well, happy, 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 happy Tuesday morning. We uh, went to Jacksonville, back to Tally yesterday, delivered over there, and uh, we took the girls with us instead of uh, Duck Man. But he's back with me. He's just down there asleep on the floor. I don't know, he's breathing kind of heavy. Maybe he's not asleep. What you doing, Duck Duck? Yeah, you just chilling out. Yeah, just chilling out. On the belly rub. Is that what it is? You're like, yeah, Dad, give me a belly rub. Come on. Wanna say hey to everybody? Say, look, everybody, I'm back. Puking rowdy. Yeah. You're back puking rowdy. <laughs> so, we're back in our old favorite mud hole in O'Clockney, Georgia. Picking up some oil dry. Oh, well, yeah. I say it's old. It's really cat litter going to uh, a knockoff family dollar store <laughs> called Roses Express. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, they uh, it's not actually going to the store. It's going to the distribution center in Henderson, North Carolina, and then they'll send it out to the stores. I have done a drop and pick up at the same place there and uh, deliver those loads. Man, it's a mess. Usually you have at least two stores you have to deliver to, sometimes three, and it takes them forever to get it unloaded. So we're not gonna be doing one of those. We do have us a load lined up though. Uh, we'll drop and hook this as soon as we can get it there, which hopefully is tonight. Then we're running over to uh, Charlotte, picking up there, and uh, heading up to Hazel Park. Michigan and uh, we'll deliver up there Thursday morning and uh, we don't have anything lined up yet after that so. uh, I did check the forecast and they are expecting snow today and tomorrow up in Michigan so we'll have to wait and see how it goes anyway if you remember last time we were here I did a little rant you know you got this many dark doors you got you ain't got not enough forklift drivers to load the trucks. I, mean, I, I was just going off, man. I was mad. Well, <laughs> I'm back. So, nobody to blame but myself for coming back. So, I won't be ranting this time. We'll just deal with it, I guess. So, we've been here since 740. So, we've only been here like 25 minutes. And we're already in the door and everything, so we just have to wait and see how long it takes them to get us loaded. In the meantime, we're going to keep looking for a load and uh, keep Duckman in the truck because he ain't getting out there playing in all that mud. I ain't, no, we ain't having that. 
So anyway, that's where we're at and that's what we're doing. So we'll check back in with y'all maybe when we get loaded. Mm, I hate to say that because sometimes I don't. If I'm in a big hurry, I don't take time to record. But before today's over with, I'm sure we'll touch back with y'all. So don't go nowhere. Hang around, we'll be right back. All right, we are loaded. We're gonna slide our tandems. I'm a little worried about sliding the tandems because I checked the pressure on the uh, airbags. With the tandem set all the way back, the air pressure is only like 56. Makes me think either that's a light load of caddy litter or either they got it loaded heavy on the ass. We're gonna find out because we're fixing to put it on the scale up here. If you look right there, there's a scale right there. Right there, you in front of the truck. We're gonna go over there, get on the scale, and see how much we weigh. And hopefully, hopefully we're good. We're gonna slide the tandems about halfway up so that it's legal to drive with them. They're not slid, they're not too far back. And then we'll see what we look like when we get on the scales. If we need to uh, slide them forward or back anymore. But I think we'll be pretty good. Uh, that's what I love about this facility, even though it takes two hours to get loaded. Oh, sorry about that. Um, they got scales where you get the axle out. So that's good. So let's check this weight. Let's get our butt up in North Carolina. Why'd well, I tell you, they loaded it heavy on the trailer. I'm uh, almost 1,200 over, so we're going to slide our tandems. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We at the TA in Duncan. South Carolina. Oh, there's a boy. There's a boy. Dad, Dad, where you going? Dad, Dad. Dad, Dad. What are you doing, buddy? He's sniffing all around. Yeah, as you can see. Right out here by the old interstate. Over there's the service base. Yeah, we got us some premium parking. But it ain't for me, it's for the duck man. Look at all this nice clean grass. That grass over yonder behind where that back row is parked, eh, it's pretty bad shape over there. This ain't as bad over here. So, uh, yeah, so we parked over here. Let him step around a little bit. All right, so let's catch you up to date on what's going on with the load we're hauling. Okay, so I apologize for the wind here. I'll try to block it best I can. All right, so load we're hauling is cat litter. <laughs> 41,000 pounds gross. Uh, it's paying about 275 a mile, 576 miles. And we're roughly making on this one about 1580. Of the 1580, we get uh, fuel surcharge, which is 33 cents a mile. So that times 576 minus the line haul. And then we get 65% of the line haul. So roughly, I'd say about maybe 68% of the load, somewhere in there. So with the load's paying around 1580. Uh, 680. We're probably making right at a thousand on this one. I'd say a thousand on this one to go 576 miles. So a little bit less than uh, two dollars a mile to the truck, but uh, I mean, that's okay. That's a decent payload and uh, gets us into a hot freight area up there. I already got a load booked. Uh, we're going to be picking up in uh, the Carolinas over here around Charlotte. Uh, I know it's a little bit of a deadhead, more than I wanted the deadhead, but it was a really good load. Going up to uh, Hazel Park, Michigan, which sucks because it's going to be snowing today and tomorrow in Michigan. I think it's supposed to be stopped by Thursday. So we'll see what it looks like when we get headed up that way. I got a feeling we're going to be in some snow. But we've been in it before at Barry, Michigan, remember? A few weeks ago. So we'll get through it somehow or another. Anyway, we're going to do an eight hour break. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I'm a strategist, okay? 
I like to use strategy when I book a load or when I'm running a load. I'm trying to block the wind because I know the wind's got to be blowing the phone, but blowing my back like crazy. Uh, so anyway, here's the deal. I got uh, on my 14 hour clock, I, and drive clock combined, I'd have a smidge right at four hours. By the time I got on the interstate, going probably a little less than four hours. All right, from where we at to where we got to deliver is three hours and 55 minutes according to Google Maps. Now, there's no way on God's green earth we're gonna make it through Charlotte up to Greensboro, where we got to turn off at to go up to Henderson without stopping in traffic. Charlotte traffic at 5, 25, 6 p.m. in the afternoon is gonna be murdered. So why waste your time sitting in traffic when you can sit here at the truck stop we just topped off with fuel. We're gonna do an eight hour break, get us some sleep, get something to eat. And that man's doing his stuff. And then it's gonna be midnight, right? Man, we'll shoot through Charlotte like nothing, man. Boom, 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 boom. Right on up to where we gotta deliver. It's 24 hours a day, receiving, drop. I already got a trailer set aside waiting on me when I get there. We go in there, we drop the trailer, sign our paperwork, grab our empty. Book it back down to Charlotte. By the time we get back down to Charlotte, we can do at least another two hour break before we get loaded. Uh, pick up our load in Charlotte and then boogity, 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 start heading up to Michigan. We'll drive as far as we can, stop, do an eight hour break, and then drive the rest of the way. And we'll be there in plenty of time before Thursday morning. So we're looking good. We're like and good. And we got a load leaving out of Michigan, picking up in Grand Rapids, going to Little Rock. And we'll talk more about that as we get closer to it. But anyway, uh, we got the breakdown on this load, so you know what, it's paying miles, weight and everything. Uh, we'll talk about the next load once we get it on the trailer, how much it's paying, everything else. So anyway, we're gonna jump, jump in the truck. We'll talk with y'all, maybe before we get to Henderson, maybe at Henderson, we'll have to wait and see, play it by ear, see what happens, all right? Don't go to work, hang around, all right, come, come on. Yeah, a little bit of a mountain, a little bit of a hill. Uh, yep, we are here in Charlotte, getting loaded. We made it up to Henderson, and uh, kind of aggravating up there a little bit, so we didn't really do any videoing. But, uh, so we're here now in uh, Charlotte. Thought we'd do a little quick video. Duck man's over having him some fun, roaming around. I think it's the first time he's been out since we left uh, Spartanburg. As you can see, we got one, two, three Landstar trucks. <laughs> All lined up getting loaded. Whew. Picking up a load of big lighters. So. <laughs> Ooh, it's hump day. So we're gonna go ahead and end the video here so I can jump in the truck, edit it up real quick and get it out. <laughs> Hopefully we can have it uploaded by lunchtime, if not sooner. And uh, so you can see how everything went. We left uh, Spartanburg last night around midnight and uh, got up there a little after 4 a.m. Did a drop and hook and did a two hour break and then we uh, booked it down here. Got here about 9.15. Go get him, Duck Duck. Say, I'm gone, Dad. See you later. And uh, so they're loading us now pretty quick. I think we'll be able to drive at least three hours. We're going to try to make it up at least to Whiteville. If we can make it up to Whiteville, we, uh, we'll be sitting pretty. We'll do a 10-hour break there and uh, probably leave out before midnight and uh, drive on up to where we got to deliver in Michigan. And... Uh, deliver up there tomorrow morning and then we're running over to Grand Rapids to pick up our next load uh, so the next uh, video that we do we'll discuss this load that we're getting right now and uh, we've already did the breakdown on the previous load that we we took to Henderson so we'll do a breakdown on the load we're picking up now in the next video so be sure you tune in and watch for that so we're gonna go ahead and end this one here thank y'all so much for liking comment subscribe and all that wonderful stuff y'all do we really appreciate it and uh, we'll be talking to y'all.
pretty safe. So y'all stay safe and don't forget our motto. If you're an operator, don't hold no cheap freight. All right.